Greetings everybody, John Tar here, and this is my channel Wiki Game Guides with, and this is my first uh, Fallout 4 Beginner's Guide video. I'm loving the hell out of this game, and I wanted to make a quick video talking about, or showing you how to get food going in your first uh, sanctuary city. So, when you first start to, um, or when you first get control of this city, or this settlement rather, there will be a couple watermelon and gourd things planted behind this building, and what you want to do right away is harvest them, uh, so sometimes, so these are some extra ones I've planted. If they have not already been collected by Marcy here, who's automatically assigned to harvest this area, you can pick up items and then plant them eventually. I also want to show you an area where you can get quite a few more areas, or quite a few more things like carrots and gourds and pumpkins to plant uh, to get your uh, first batch of citizens very healthy. So uh, when you hold V, you can go into this menu here. Let's see, resources, and water, and food. And food is one of the harder ones because you don't start with anything and you can't just build with it. You have to find uh, carrots and whatever things you have um, or whatever food you want to plant uh, to get it going. So it's not like you can just scrap stuff that's laying around. Um, so let's plant this next gourd here. I haven't been able to find a good way to like really get them in a nice organized way like you would hope Minecraft style or something like that. So anyway, uh, so just plant as much stuff as you can back there. And then uh, also go, be sure to go to the Supermart in Concord. Where is it? Here we go. Super Duper Mart in Lexington, sorry. So this area right here, uh, Sanctuary is way up here and kind of near this uh, highway crossroad right here, you'll find Lexington and the Super Duper Mart. So when you finally get into the Super Duper Mart, uh, when you first get in here the first time, there will be a bot locked in this cage right here, and I have turned him on to roam around and kill all the ghouls in here, but what you want to do is go back here and hack this terminal, and then you can turn him on and give him uh, different uh, personalities as well if you really want, but that's not the important part. Turn him on and that'll make it much easier to roam around this area and go between all the aisles and get all the different carrots and gourds and pumpkins and stuff like that to plant to get your farm going quickly right at the start of the game and keep your citizens happy. So, thanks for watching. Uh, I will be coming out with a shitload of Fallout 4 videos. I'm loving the hell out of this game. Uh, my next video is probably going to be an early start melee build video and uh, whatever else I can find. I know I'm, work I'm also working on a bobblehead location and uh, magazine special boost location video as well. Uh, so, thanks for watching. Be sure to give the video a like if it helped you out. Find some early uh, quick start food for your economy and uh, subscribe for more Fallout 4 stuff. Thanks for watching and game on.